can you just shine very briefly some light on what's going on with Mike and the band at the moment? Yeah. You know, I would like to know myself too, but it, it's not very, very, it's a very difficult question because uh, he disconnected from the band mm -hmm. uh, some months ago already. Oh, really? It means, it means we went to the studio, uh, record, recorded a new album, and it just didn't, it didn't come. You know, he didn't come to, he didn't come to the, uh, we did like demo sessions, writing new songs, and he didn't come uh, to write songs with us, yeah. and. Uh, After after I I tried to face him with the problems, you know, he disappeared and he kind of disconnected with us, you know. Uh, there's definitely some deeper problems I don't know yet. We we know we, we still give him a little time uh, till the 19th till we have the press release. Mm -hmm. And nevertheless, the band moved on. You know, we, we recorded a new album, uh, we wrote all the new new songs, and uh, we will also uh, have a special surprise on the 19th. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, uh, for the fans yeah. to show it's going to continue. We're going to, of course, not going to stop. You know, I mean, it, Mike is a founding member, and it was always important for the band. But if he doesn't want to do this anymore, I cannot help him. You know, and. Uh, I also cannot look behind the curtain, you know, I, I, nobody can be forced to, to do what, what you want to do, you know. For me, it's disappointing in one way, it's also shocking, but, uh, you know, I've, I've been in this business for too long, I, I know those things can happen, you know, and uh, I always, we always told him we're not going to close the door on him, it's his, uh, it's his decision and we will see what happens, you know. At the end, at the end uh, it's a big part on him now. I did what we could do for it, and uh, for, for me now I have to survive, I have to keep the band alive, and we had uh, some really difficult moments, the last couple of moments, uh, keeping the band together, uh, finding a new label also, we switched to Nuclear Blast, to Napalm Records also, we had to finish the live album also, even knowing that Mike uh, will, might be leaving us after the recording, uh, after the, the release, you know. So it wasn't easy for us, but... Uh, You know, I'm trying to focus now on, on the future of the band and uh, I'm happy we have a great team around us. We have a great team in the band and uh, we're all good friends. And uh, what, what happens to Mike, it's just in his own hands, basically. Mm -hmm. you know? So we hopefully in two weeks, uh, we're going to have the press release with announcement uh, that exactly shows what what's going to be it for him, at least, because the band will continue nevertheless. You know, uh, some people said... Destruction is uh, nothing without Mike Seifringer, which is understandable, but I'm the main songwriter in the band, you know. Mm -hmm. I wrote all the Destruction songs, you know. Mm -hmm. Mike wrote with me sometimes, a lot of stuff I wrote myself, and, uh, you know, even I'm not a guitar player, but I'm the main songwriter in the band. So uh, not all the fans know this, but uh, the band will continue nevertheless. And we're not going to change sound, we're not going to change our style, And uh, I just hope the fans gonna give us a chance and uh, see that we're you know we're not we're not there to die yet. Absolutely, man. I I I I'm really eager to see what what is next for destruction. But just to close this topic, and I want to make sure that we you know that we get we get this then uh, covered. Um. So, but but you saw that coming, right? It was like it was part of you know longer process. It was not a spontaneous out of the blue decision for you personally some fans came to me and said said over the last years what's wrong with mike you know he looks mm -hmm. he looks unhealthy mm -hmm. you know and i tried to communicate this with him his lifestyle you know it's mm -hmm. it's always a lifestyle thing you know when some people like to live healthy do sports eat clean no drugs no alcohol or have at least kind of uh regulated life you know mm -hmm. and some other people like to don't give a fuck about their the, the way they treat their body you know and uh, it's 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 kind of obvious if you look at mike's uh, health in the last years uh, you know he he didn't want to change his lifestyle mm -hmm. you know drinking and smoking and whatever whatever comes in It's gonna, and when you get older, you gotta change something. I always say, you know, uh, I'm not a huge fan of the Rolling Stones, you know, but I think their way of doing it till they're old, you know, that's pretty incredible. <laughs> that I have so much respect for this, you know, because one day 
in your life, you got to cut down all that shit. You know, <laughs> you got to cut down the drugs and the fucking drinking and the hangovers every day because you want to perform for your fans on a high level. Mm-hmm. And that's only possible when you have some discipline, you know. And uh, uh, when we were 17, music was fun and was a hobby and it was great to party and we didn't have to sleep, we didn't care, we could, could still perform. But when you get older, you need to be, you know, you need to be on top of the shit and, and you need to watch yourself. And uh, that's something that... I have a different vision mm-hmm. than Mike, mm-hmm. you know, and that's all I can say about this. You know, uh, he's his own person. He can do whatever he wants, you know, and and if he wants to live his life this way, it's his, it's his call, you know. Absolutely, man. Okay, thank you, thank you, Sven. And I, I mean, just just uh, on a, on a, to close this, I I um, you know, I think I'm speaking from all of you know heavy metal community and fans from over here. I we hope that you know you will come to some kind of equilibrium and everything will be okay. But we will support destruction no matter what. We all hope so. You know, we we, we all wish Mike best of luck, and yep. uh, I hope we we can uh, announce announce at least a respectful goodbye from him. Also, respect for the fans, you know. Uh, uh, we have our 40 year anniversary next year. Yeah. And of course, we would love to invite Mike on stage and jam with us for some songs, you know. Yeah. Even if he, does, if he doesn't want to play thrash metal anymore, he's part of the band's history. And uh, I also wrote all this to him, but there's no feedback from him coming. So we will see. There's still, we, we wrote him that we need a statement until the 19th of. Uh, of August, that's the deadline when we have to announce something. Mm-hmm. Fans are fans are waiting. The fans want some answers, you know, and us too, you know. So we will see. Hopefully, we find a, a little happy end of a not so nice moment at the moment. Uh, but it's that's life, you know. People split apart. Uh, people have different ways. People change also, yeah. you know. And uh, uh, not everybody wants to play thrash metal his whole life, I guess. And uh, uh, so we'll see, but uh, yeah, we, we hopefully find a good ending for this soon, and uh, then the fans will know more 